Tsu, and my people out there, my gente. Um, it's Sunday. My my people came down to Iowa and visit. You know, I'm out here just making plans for the future, seeing what I could do next, seeing what I could do, what I could provide to you people. I'm learning how to advertise. I'm learning other things about the business, and I'm just here back to replay what I've learned and to um, give you some advice of what I think you guys should be doing or how to handle some situations. <clears throat> Remember. So, what I really want to talk about is that in this discussion, you have to, in your life, do things that you think are not right. Simple. Feel me? You're going to be stuck in situations where you think that this situation or whatever this is, this problem is not right. And the solution to this problem or this issue is incorrectly not right. But, for some reason, if you do the right thing, it will be the wrong thing. So, within this business, within this game, if you know, if you know what game you're in, then you would understand what I'm talking about. If you're in this business game, you have to do things that sometimes, when, in their, when you have situations that arise... The best way to handle situation is by doing the doing the thing that you least want to be doing. And that's probably communicating with your boss, with the higher boss. That's probably not just letting the situation fly or acting like you didn't see the, whatever happened. That is not that is going up to somebody to your supervisor, your management and letting them know what's going on. It's because being in an environment where it's all business, it's not a criminal case no more. If you're coming, like in my term, you're coming from being a, uh, from being a criminal to being a legit person, it's a whole different world, different court systems, different, man, it's different. Now you are messing. Instead of messing with people's lives and emotions, you're messing with people's lives and emotions with money instead of pain. Okay, instead of hurtness, instead of, you know, you're messing with money now. You're messing with bills. You know, you're messing with the thing that makes the world go around. So you have to understand, it's not the same law as in the street or as in the, as in the G code, the street. You know, you have to be ethical. You have to be, you have to think as a supervisor. You have to think as a manager. You have to think as your business, as your house will be destroyed if this candidate saw something that could potentially hurt the house. You feel me? You have to communicate. You have to solve issues the way you think you wouldn't normally ha handle them. You have to bring people in in certain situations where there's people in your company that are going out of crazy. You have to bring in the higher dog. You have to show people if you're a lead. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little, I got a little excited right there. Sorry. Okay, if you're a lead man, and you're gonna be a lead man, okay? You're, you're a lead man. You're teaching somebody, and your employee gets wilding out. He doesn't want to listen to you. He's telling you you're teaching them wrong. You're not teaching them right. You're too, you're enforcing the things too much. You know, there's, you're gonna end up with people that are gonna try to fight you. They're gonna tell you you're not the boss. Quit acting like a boss. That you're a cop or that you're you're just scoping out for problems or you're just you know. There's people that are gonna try to bring you down. They're gonna try to eat you up, man. Even when you know they're lower than you. When when they know you have the power, these people that do not have the power somehow in their mind in their mind think that they have the power to to lower your standard. You feel me? To, to, to try to tell you that you can't tell me what to do. Even though I know you hold the power, you can't tell me what to do because you're nothing. You're not the boss. You are the boss, but you're not the boss. Okay? You're going to you're gonna have people like this, okay? And there's situations, I've been in situations where, I, you, know, they, uh, there's, you know, there's problems occur in your workstation, in your workplace, that they're going to try to 
fight you, encounter you with threats and all this stuff. But you have to understand. You have to remember that you're 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 man. If you are a bad, are you if you are lead man, if you are going to be a boss, if you're trying to be a supervisor or be in a management position, you have to understand that you can't think like them no more. You can't think like okay, we could just go outside and we could throw it down and you know show who's man. No, okay, being a man within a business world, it's about who's got that mo who's got the money, and who's got the power. Okay, who called the shots? And there's a lot of people out in that in, in, in the environment that do not are able to call the shots who think they could call the shots. Or that they think they cannot listen to you. Because they they're like, you're not gonna bring the supervisor, you're not gonna or and if you are then you're telling and all this and all this. You know, people live in a world of kid. Okay, they have the kid mindset. Those who do not want to move above or are mad because you are in position of control, they turn into selfishness. They turn into a childish mindset. They say, you cannot tell me what to do. And if you do, then